There are lots of reasons you might want something like this Mackie Big Knob Monitor Controller. They are usually used for switching between two sets of monitors, but that's not why I've picked this one up. With Dante Network sound cards at the computers here and a Dante Network output box connected directly to my monitors, it would be really useful to add some physical controls to this setup. If you're not familiar with Dante, it's a protocol used to send audio over a network to other devices. It is used to transport and route audio really easily in complex systems, though there are no volume or mute controls built into Dante or Dante Controller, which is the software you use to do the patching. Patching devices in Dante is essentially the same as using a copper wire. And what I mean by that is if you patch an active output of a device into the input of a powered speaker that's turned all the way up, signal will start flowing almost immediately. So we often need to add some extra controls in these types of configurations, not only for convenience, but also to avoid sending a full tilt signal into the monitors unexpectedly when patching something new in the future. I went with a passive unit specifically here to keep things simple and to try avoid adding another piece of gear that needs power to the desk. We're gonna find out if that was a smart move or not. And you can see inside these units, it's pretty straightforward. And that's thanks to all of what we're doing with this unit being passive tasks. Switching, summing, muting, and lowering the volume are all tasks that do not add electronic gain and do not need a power supply to accomplish. The nice fluid feel you get from the main volume knob is down to a very smooth potentiometer and also a really heavy big knob. This thing has some serious heft to it and really does give the whole unit a nice feel. Though the volume knob feels great, the other buttons are plastic and they feel like it. They rattle around a little bit, which isn't a really big deal on the desk. I'm not touching this thing all the time. But what is a little bit of a deal is the noises they can make when used in circuit. You can hear a one kilohertz tone playing now, and that's being routed through the unit and recorded. And first we'll use the main volume to turn it down halfway. Now back up to full volume. and then all the way down. Did you hear that sound right before it was all the way off? So that's the volume knob. Next, let's toggle the source select from A to B. Maybe you can hear a little bit of a snap each time that's toggled on and off. Now we'll toggle the sum to mono on and off. Now the mute. And that one's particularly ugly, I think. Let's see if the dim is any better. For anyone following along, that was a 12 dB volume reduction that the dim button does, so that's good. And finally, we have the monitor or output select. So those are all of the features in order, pretty much from left to right. And it's worth saying that these noises are not popping my speakers or anything like that that would do damage at normal monitoring levels. In fact, standing at the desk, you cannot hear these pops really coming through the speakers at all. Where you do hear it though, is if you're going to incorporate one of these into any sort of live stream setup or any situation where you're going to record or broadcast one of the outputs down the line you'll hear exactly what you heard in this demonstration in those cases. So whether or not that's a big deal is really up to how you plan on using the big knob. If it's just on the desktop as a normal monitor controller with some small powered or passive monitors, you should be just fine and it's a fine value for what it is. 
But if you really do need the silent switching for any number of very real reasons, this might not be the best choice. For how it's going to be used here on the desk, it's absolutely fine, but I hope this was helpful anyway for anyone considering picking one up in the future. It's also important just to clear up that physically making and breaking contacts in an audio signal path like this passively will usually be audible. Just so you know, there's nothing wrong with this unit. It's just part of the way this kind of technology works. You can decide if that's a big deal for your application on a case by case basis, but there you go. That's all for the Mackie Big Knob Passive Monitor Controller for now though. Thanks for watching.